Now, back to the Good Life Radio Show, sponsored by Pest Control Center at 916-344-4400. Welcome back to the Good Life Radio Show. Ben Godinas and... John Robert Quinn. Man, the myth, the legend. And we're... Um, I'm still a legendary. <laughs> in his own mind. Uh, no. Uh, 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 uh. Our listeners know that I am incredible. <laughs> Donald Trump even knows I am amazing. That's the, the people who are most humble are the ones that call themselves the most humble, right? Absolutely. That's right. Yes. Well, we're blessed to have uh, J.C. Blakemore on the show today, author of Double Identity. She was just telling us about how she is marketing herself and how she started on social media with uh, a few thousand followers on, on Facebook and then branched out to Twitter. And uh, I thought it was a great idea that you had you sent people on a scavenger hunt through the, your different social media avenues, mm-hmm. and the first five people got an autographed copy of your book. Correct. That's brilliant. And then it those was, people will continue to... And it was a lot of fun yeah. and then to make certain that I really knew that they were involved in the game that we were playing, mm-hmm. then they would have to respond to each different question. Where did they find it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Or yeah. send a copy of the link when they found it. And this is just another, another creative marketing strategy. Mm-hmm. There's so many people out there that are just... They, they open up their a copy of Success or a copy of Entrepreneur and they're... Oh, all these great ideas. Everybody's using the same ideas if it's in a magazine. You've got to figure out ways and think of new creative ways to do what you're doing. I mean, look at me. I'm amazing. No, I'm kidding with you guys. No, when I created the search engine, people are like, how in the world are you going to market a search engine? Well, we have a radio show, a golf tournament, an automotive rally. We're putting all these different things together. Why? To market a search engine? Well, yeah, you got to create culture. You got to get people interested one way or another. How are you going to do that? Right. And she found a creative way that nobody else is doing, made it fun, made it interactive, got people interested, got people involved. People want to be involved in fun, amazing things, and they want to be rewarded. Mm-hmm. Done. Mm-hmm. Straight up. So um, I want to talk a little bit about insurance. <laughs> Boy, that was a U-turn. But no, something that's been weighing my mind. Yeah, <laughs> wake up, everybody! Wake up! Donald Trump's gonna come back if you guys don't wake up. No, um, something that's been kind of weighing my mind is, um, you know, as as my car collection grows, as my watch collection grows, um, you know, I've, I've been thinking about getting like a safe deposit box and keeping my watches inside of a bank. But other people are like, just go get renter's insurance or you know increase your renter's insurance tell me more about is that really worth my money is it really worth my time is it really worth yeah absolutely um the thing about renter's insurance is it, it's so inexpensive it doesn't make sense not to have it um yeah and, and for most people it's you know oh I, I i've never had a claim or i've never had anything stolen and you know why do i need it well the funny thing is that the multi-policy discount added to your auto insurance more than usually more than saves you the cost of renter's insurance. So, it, you know, if you have uh, I just quoted somebody the other day, $2,000 auto policy, the renter's insurance discount is only 7%, but 7% of 2 grand is uh, is what 140 bucks. Mm-hmm. The cost of the renter's insurance was $143. So, it's a wash. So, what does renter's insurance cover? Well, it covers your personal property mm-hmm. anywhere in the world. People think, oh, well, I'm in a gated community. You know, I live at the Palms or, you know, I live in a nice secured home or Mm -hmm. what have you. It's not about that. It's anywhere in the world. So if somebody steals your suitcase on an airplane or somebody breaks into your car, your loose items aren't covered by auto insurance. And they're usually not covered by the airplane or the airport Mm -hmm. um, unless you buy the airport insurance, Mm -hmm. which is 50 bucks anyway. So to have renter's insurance, it covers your personal property anywhere in the world. Now, that does have certain limitations for watches, jewelry, firearms, um, usually up to a couple thousand dollars. So you need to endorse your policy. Uh, it's called a schedule. You need to schedule your personal property mm-hmm. up to that limit. And okay. they usually want an appraisal or the bill of sale or mm-hmm. you know something that shows what the value is. Because those things, especially, let's say, Rolex, for example, mm-hmm. that doesn't really depreciate. It appreciates. Yeah, and they're worth as much as a decent car. Yeah. So, and then what are you talking on cost? Well, general rule of thumb, and this is totally general. Every insurance company is different. It depends on, it's all percentages, so it's based mm-hmm. on how much you're paying. But uh, it's about a dollar per month per thousand. So if you want to schedule $5,000 of jewelry, for example, it's about you know $5,000, about $5 more a month uh, to schedule that on your policy. So I, I just had 
two, actually this year, two clients that have renter's insurance that scheduled more than $25,000 worth of jewelry on their policy. Mm -hmm. And two different claims, two different people, both had them stolen. So by schedule. Oh, that's right. What it was out of that out of the car, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, she may be on the show later, and she may be talking about that. Um, we're not going to say. Oh, okay. I was going to say names, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, so it's unfortunate, but because we endorse them on her policy, you know, the insurance company is going to you know, write her a check for twenty five grand, and she'll probably buy a different or you know better ring. Um, so if they can't replace it, they'll they'll give you the money to go buy it or custom make a new one, uh, which is incredible. So personal property is absolutely essential, but what if people, you know, are just starting out? They don't have a lot of stuff. Maybe it's hand-me-downs or they have a Craigslist mm-hmm. stuff. And like, mm-hmm. I only have five grand of personal property. Mm-hmm. Well, even more important than your fifteen or twenty or even fifty thousand dollars personal property you might insure, liability is much more important. So liability is I don't care if you're a renter at a house or an apartment complex, if there are damages to where you're living because of mm-hmm. what you're found at fault for, they're gonna go after you. So if, by having renter's insurance, the minimum is $100,000 of liability insurance. So if you light the place on fire, you better believe it's going to cost them more than $100,000 to rebuild that you know, from the ground up. So you need at least that because I, I've left a pan on the stove before, and if I didn't come home in time, that thing would have burned down. And then you would have got an pot. autograph by Larry Bird. <laughs> You're not getting any autographs by Larry Bird. <laughs> Come on, JC, make, but make a phone call. But I, I'll tell you what, that insurance sounds so good. I'm going to go home and put my house on the market so I can go rent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a pretty good deal. Because 15 bucks is, a month? Yeah. Just so I can rent. You you sold me on this. I, I agree. It's it's pennies on the dollar, and it, it covers you for more than you know what you think. The, I have a question, though, yeah. on this completely serious note. So JC Blakemore is going to sign a book over to me in a little bit. If somebody comes in and steals that book, the book is priceless. What happens then? Well, good question. The insurance companies cannot give you your feelings back. You can't insure your feelings. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Quinn. I know you have a big heart. And Trump has a heart of gold. I have a heart of gold. <laughs> <laughs> 50 carats worth of gold. 10 billion, <laughs> 10 billion hearts of gold. <laughs> yeah, so so the, the other side of the coin of... of Having renters insurance. Is it a gold coin? <laughs> you can insure gold coins. Is do you want to put in a claim? So if your deductible is five hundred bucks, and the, I'm sorry, the book is not worth five hundred bucks. It's uh, well, well, autographed. It is autographed. Whoa! But not the book Whoa. on the Bam, show. Don't worry. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. The book is not five hundred dollars. It's, it's. We aren't even waiting for the escalator to go in. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Do it, Donald. <laughs> Fire him. Fire him, Ben. Go home. You're fired. I'm going to have a black and white limousine come and pick you up. Put, put him on the gates shuttle. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> For our listeners, double identity does not cost you $500 off the shelf. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on iTunes. You can get Just it anywhere. Just don't that they sell illegally books. download it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, so the, the insurance companies go by you know replacement or actual cash value on your policy. So. Um, if somebody steals, you know, your sweatshirt out of the car, you're not going to put in a renter's insurance claim. No, what would a deductible is... be on renter's insurance? Uh, they, they go very low. They go 